file and layers management is very important, especially when you're working on projects that contains hundreds and thousands of layers of files so that you can easily keep track of your layers, your file, your artwork, and it will not affect your efficiency of your work. So in Illustrator, we have a layers panel to keep track and organize all our files, the paths and drawings. To bring out the layers panel, go to window menu and select layers. The shortcut key is F7. So layer panel is one of those panel that we want to always be there on our screen. All right. And now over here, we have two layers. All right. I group them accordingly and rename them nicely. To create a new layer, just go to the bottom right side and press on the plus icon to create a new layer. So with this new layer, you can left click drag to rearrange the layers position. And if you want to quickly create a new layer, you can press the shortcut key Ctrl L or Command L for Mac user. And if you want to delete all the layers that you do not want, you can select one of the layer on top, and hold down shift on your keyboard and left click at the most bottom layer and press the trash bin icon to delete those selected layers. And in this layer, you can see that there's a drop down menu. So when I click the drop down menu, you can see that there are a lot of paths that are grouped together inside of these layers. So this rearrange this layer layer is the top one here. And the final result is this one. So this will be one of the exercise that I will do a demonstration to you later on. Now over here, this empty space, if you left click on this empty space, it will create a lock icon. So when the lock icon is toggled, you will not be able to select or move whatever that's inside of this layer. And meanwhile, this eye or the pupil icon is used to hide or show this uh, whatever things that's inside of this layer. Now let's look at this exercise. So in this exercise, what I want you guys to try to do is to rearrange the layer, which is the paths within the first layer here, rearrange in a way so that it will stack from bottom all the way to up just like this. So to manually rearrange everything, you can select the object to see which object is being selected by looking at the color here. So if I select this, you can see that this is this one and this is this one. So what I want to do is now, so what I want to do now is to rearrange that like this one is the most top. So I want to bring this layer, hold down left click and drag it on top of the other layers. Meanwhile, this is at the most bottom. So let's quickly rearrange all of this. So this will take some time if you are doing it manually one by one like this. So we have a shortcut to quickly rearrange a layer up or down. So to do that, let's zoom in closely. Select the object, right click, arrange, and you can use all this shortcut here to send the object or our shape in front or to the back. So I'll be using this shortcut key. So let me show you how it works. So I'll pr be pressing Control Shift uh, open bracket to move all the layers around like this. If you look at the layer panel here, you can see that it's moving up and down. So this way you don't have to left click and drag the layer again and again. You can just select this and then just send them to the back. And just like that, we have rearranged the layers using the shortcut key. In this new document, I have one layer which contains all the yellow and also purple circles. If I expand this layer, you can see that all the layers are quite messy. They are all around the layers. They are not named properly. So what I want to do now is to separate both the yellow and the purple circles to its each individual layer. So first, let me create a new layer by pressing the icon here. And let's rename this to purple. You can rename a layer by double clicking on the layer. So over here, I will double click and change the name to yellow. Now the most manual way, okay, the manual method to bring out all the purple circles to the new layer is to hold down the control key on your keyboard and left click 
on all the layers that you want to select and then you can left click drag to the new layer so this way we have easily separated each color to its own group but sometimes when you have a lot a lot a lot of layers especially strokes or puffs which doesn't involve colors it's quite challenging to move each layer back to its own group so there's another method which is you can select whatever that you can see over here by holding down shift key and left click to select everything here and over here if you look at it you can see that there's a color icon you can just hold down left click and drag this color icon all the way to the layers that you want to shift to and now all the selected shapes will now be moved to the new layer moving on to the next over here I have this reference image which is one of the image of my assignment and before I start working on this assignment I want to set up my document my reference image properly first all right now the first thing that you see on this image is this giant cross this means that this image is linked to my computer so if I send this file to another person and that person doesn't have that particular file or image this image will disappear and it will not show on their end okay so remember to left click this image every time and press embed and then press ok by embedding the image you are basically burning the image into the document now what I want to do next is to rename my layer to reference I want to organize my file name properly and next I want to left click on this square thumbnail here and this will bring up the layer option so over here you can change the layer name and over here the green color this color represent by this tab okay you can change the color to any color you want and if you notice this green color is also the color of the bounding box so if I change to let's say red color and press OK it will change to red color as well so even if you create same thing if you create and if you try to create any new shapes or try to draw new paths all the paths will have the same color as well and the next thing that I want to do is to dim my layer so I want to make my layer to be 50% transparent so that when I draw my drawing on top I can see my drawing clearly without overlapping with my reference image all right and the last thing that I want to do is I want to lock the layer so you can either use the button here or you can just simply click here to lock the selection additionally you might want to take this template as well if this is a reference image I can just take this template and the pupil icon will change to this square icon all right so this will not show up in the preview because this is just a template and the final step I will want to create a new layer for my drawings and let's rename it to something that is easily recognizable and now I can start working on the assignment